and welcome back to Coco Sleep, the podcast of original children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. Roll up, roll up, get your teeth brushed, your lights lowered and your blankets ready. For this is the night that you've all been waiting for. The time has finally come. Tonight, Coco Sleepers, you are in for a one-night-only extra special extravaganza. For tonight, yes, this very evening, the one, the only, the marvellous and magical circus is coming to town. Ooh, that's quite a build-up. Before we start, though, we need to make a very special announcement and give the warmest of welcomes to today's new members of the Coco Club. So hello and welcome to Evie, Ava, Annabelle and Rose, Mio, Maya, Aria, Scarlett and Ollie, Maya and Tej, Ruby G and Ella G, Gracie and Cora. Thank you all for joining us. Okay, I maybe got a bit pumped there and the start was a bit exciting, so let's just dial it down a little bit, as it is bedtime. We are going to the circus, though, and it will be fun, but it won't be so exciting it will keep you awake. So lie back and conjure up the image in your mind of a big top tent, and whilst you move around under your covers... Get really comfy and think about that big tent. That's it. Stretch and wriggle if you need and make a point of breathing out all the way out. Then breathe in and out again. Breathe in and out. Nice and steady breaths. That's right. Now, let's go together and meet someone who is very old. A tortoise, in fact. Yes, Tiki the tortoise is over 100 years old. Despite his old age, though, Tiki has always dreamed of joining the circus. And tonight, when the travelling circus comes to Sleepy Forest, he finally has his once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to audition. Let's find out how he gets on. This is The Circus Comes to Sleepy Forest by Alicia Ainsley. It was a warm summer's day and there was a buzz around Sleepy Forest. Not a buzz from the bumblebees, but a buzz of voices chatting excitedly. Word had got out that the travelling circus was due to roll through Sleepy Forest any day now. The unique circus performers would put on a one-night-only show for the residents of the forest, led by Manny the Magnificent. Manny the Magnificent was a mandrill monkey with a bright blue snout and a red line running down the bridge of his nose. He also had a brightly coloured behind that stood out from the rest of his brown fur. He liked to wear a red blazer and a purple and gold top hat for his shows so that he looked extra snazzy. As such an exuberant creature who stood out from the crowd, there was no better place for Manny than the circus. Manny the Magnificent was well known for being the greatest ringmaster in the animal kingdom and he ran his circus successfully. No matter where he and his travelling circus went, they were met by adoring fans and eager audiences. Manny contributed the most to the success of the circus, but he was certainly helped by all of the other incredible animals who performed with him. The travelling circus boasted hula-hooping rhinos and stilt-walking giraffes, snakes who could contort their bodies into all sorts of strange shapes, and elephants who could blow fire. There was rumoured to be a tiger trapeze and hippos that could juggle, as well as a seal who was an illusionist. 
There was something for everybody at Manny the Magnificent's travelling circus. For one old tortoise, the opportunity to watch Manny the Magnificent's travelling circus was a dream come true. Tiki the tortoise was 120 years old, and he had waited a long time for the circus to return to Sleepy Forest. Tiki the tortoise first watched the circus when he was a young child and fell in love with the spectacle of it all. Every time that the circus came through the forest, he bought himself a ticket and enjoyed the show from the stands, wishing that he was talented enough to be a part of it. Tortoises weren't well known for their showmanship, and nobody had ever heard of a tortoise performing in a circus before. But it didn't stop Tiki from dreaming. As a young tortoise, he religiously practiced tightrope walking on his mother's washing line, much to the entertainment of their neighbours. However, as he grew older and bigger, his shell became too heavy for the washing line to support his weight, and he had to give up. So Tiki turned to a different talent. After giving it some thought, Tiki decided to learn how to be a clown. He rehearsed his clowning act around the forest, trying to make other animals laugh. However, no matter how much he painted his face and practised his juggling, Tiki the tortoise just wasn't naturally funny. His delivery of jokes fell flat, and the only amused reaction he managed to get out of other animals was a polite titter of laughter when he pulled funny faces. Tiki decided to quit while he was ahead and put his energy into something more fruitful. One day, when Tiki was around 60 years old, he visited his friends Cody and Grizabella Bear and noticed they had a new trampoline outside their cave. They invited Tiki to join them for a bounce around on the trampoline and Tiki eagerly accepted. As Tiki bounced and tumbled through the air, he felt more alive than he ever had. He backflipped and somersaulted and propelled himself up into the air higher than he ever imagined he could. He laughed and whooped the whole time, and Cody and Grizabella Bear watched on, amazed by Tiki's natural ability for trampolining. Even now, at 120 years old, Tiki enjoyed taking to the trampoline to practice his acrobatic skills. But instead of Cody and Grizabella Bear by his side, it was now their five children, Lana, Bucky, Coco, Luella and Theodore jumping around with him. Cody and Grizabella Bear were much too big for the trampoline nowadays but Tiki would never grow too large. The years went by, and Tiki Tortoise grew older and older. He reached his 100th birthday and had a circus-themed party to celebrate. All of his sleepy forest friends came dressed as circus performers, and Tiki dressed up as a ringmaster. As time rolled on, Tiki began to accept that he might never join the circus. He was an old tortoise now. He resigned himself to the fact that he would watch the circus from afar and only dream of what might have been. With news of Manny the Magnificent's travelling circus coming back to Sleepy Forest, Tiki was excited. He and his friend Roo the Rabbit were going to watch it together and planned to buy front row tickets to make the most of the occasion. On the day that tickets became available to buy, Tiki Tortoise crawled his way to the ticket office early to beat the queues. When he arrived, there were only a few other animals in front of him and he gazed at the posters stuck to the ticket office walls while he waited. There were pictures of Manny the Magnificent, of course, 
wearing his dazzling red jacket and purple and gold top hat. There were pictures of the hula-hooping rhinos and contortionist snakes, too. But the poster that caught Tiki's eye the most was one of Manny pointing out of the picture. It felt like Manny was pointing straight at Tiki. Beneath Manny's image, the poster said, Could you be the next circus superstar? Tiki scuttled his way to the front of the queue to get a better look and discovered that the poster was advertising auditions for the circus right here in Sleepy Forest. For one night only, some lucky creature would win the opportunity to perform an act in the travelling circus for the residents of Sleepy Forest. Tiki's tummy started to flutter with excitement. This might be his one opportunity to make his dream come true. The auditions were due to happen in three days' time, in the main tent of Manny's circus down by the river. Tiki made note of the details and purchased his tickets for him and Roo the rabbit. Then he crawled home as fast as he could. He had a lot of work to do over the coming three days. Tiki spent every waking hour of the next few days practising his trampolining and acrobatic skills. He might have been a little older than he used to be, but Tiki still had talent. He didn't tell anyone about the audition. He didn't want anyone to know that he was going to try out for the circus, in case it didn't go well. It was his little secret. The day of the auditions came along, and Tiki made his way through the forest and down to the river where the travelling circus had set up camp. In order to perform his act, Tiki needed to bring his own mini trampoline from home. It was a long journey to the river for an animal as small and slow-moving as Tiki, especially with a mini trampoline in tow. But Tiki the tortoise was determined. He set off early at a steady pace and began the long journey down to the river. Tiki could spot the roof of the red and purple circus tent from a mile away. He was tired from lugging the mini trampoline all the way through Sleepy Forest, but the butterflies in his tummy spurred him on and kept him moving forward. He crawled his way up to the entrance of the tent and was greeted by a stripy zebra balancing on a large blow-up ball. The zebra held a clipboard and pen as she wobbled around, trying to gain her balance. Ah, you here for the auditions? The balancing zebra asked Tiki. Tiki replied that he was, and the zebra added his name to her list. She gestured through the entrance door and said, Take a seat in the auditorium while you wait your turn. Have you brought everything you need for your audition? Tiki glanced behind him and gestured to the mini trampoline. The zebra's eyebrows lifted with surprise, and she smiled. It's certainly never a dull day here at the circus, (laughs) she giggled. I get to see all sorts of wacky things on the job. The zebra wished Tiki good luck, and he headed inside the circus tent. It was massive. Hundreds of seats were set out in a big circle, gazing down on a large round stage in the middle of the auditorium. Big spotlights hung from the rafters and projected their dazzling lights onto the stage below, and jolly music played over the speakers. Tiki took a deep breath in, and inhaled the familiar, delicious aroma of popcorn and peanuts. 
There was a gentle buzz of excitement in the auditorium as other sleepy forest creatures waited their turn to audition and watched each other perform on the main stage. Tiki dragged his mini trampoline down to the front row to wait his turn, exactly where he had bought tickets to sit and watch the show tomorrow night. He peered down the row and spotted Manny the Magnificent sitting in a special chair with several of his fellow circus performers sitting around him. They were watching the auditions and making notes of who their favourites were. Manny, the famous mandrill monkey, looked very important sitting in his special director's chair. He even wore his famous red jacket uniform and purple and gold top hat. All of the other animals clearly respected him and they brought Manny glasses of water and snacks while he watched the auditions. Right now, a white dove was performing an aerial silk show. She wrapped long lines of silk around her body and danced in the air gracefully. It was a very lovely performance, and Tiki, along with all the others watching, applauded her when she was done. The standards at the auditions were high. Tiki watched a Komodo dragon perform mind-blowing magic, and a puffin successfully tiptoe along the tightrope. Tiki looked on, recalling how he had practiced tightrope walking for many years before he became too big for it. Eventually, it was Tiki's turn to try out for the circus. Manny the Magnificent called his name from the list, and Tiki almost fainted from being so starstruck. Manny the Magnificent knew his name. Tiki Tortoise pulled his mini trampoline into the middle of the dusty circus stage and removed the rope tying them together. He faced Manny and the other circus performers and introduced himself. Hello, Tiki announced confidently. My name is Tiki, and today I am going to be performing some acrobatics on the trampoline. Manny the Magnificent sat forward in his chair with visible intrigue. How old are you, Tiki? Manny asked. Tiki replied, I... I'm 120 years young. Manny and the other circus performers gasped with amazement. They had never met an animal as old as Tiki before, and certainly not one that claimed their talent was acrobatics. Do you think you have what it takes to join the circus, Tiki? Manny probed from his director's chair. Tiki grinned modestly and tilted his long neck to the side before answering, Well, I've been practising since I was only a young tortoise of around 20 years old, so I've had plenty of time to prepare. It's always been my dream to perform in the circus. Manny smiled. He liked Tiki's answer and wished him the best of luck. He gave Tiki permission to begin his act and Tiki crawled into his starting position. Tiki boarded the mini trampoline and turned his back to the audience. The spotlights fell upon him and the rest of the auditorium went dark. The old tortoise closed his eyes and took a deep breath. This was his moment. Tiki bent his knees and geared up for his first bounce.
He did a few small jumps to start, gathering momentum and gradually getting higher and higher with each bounce. The music kicked in and Tiki began his performance. He zoomed and boinged into the air, flipping and dipping, somersaulting and cartwheeling, tumbling and barrel turning over and over again. He did the splits in midair, twirled like a plane propeller, and popped in and out of his shell in a series of thrilling, unique moves. Everybody in the audience was mesmerised, and Tiki was having the best time ever. As his act came to a close, Tiki finished with one final daredevil move. He propelled himself up into the air, executed a double backflip and landed on the stage floor, standing on one leg. There was a moment of pure silence throughout the circus tent. Everybody was speechless. Then, Manny the Magnificent got to his feet and cried out, Bravo! Bravo! All of the other animals stood up in their seats and began clapping, cheering and chanting Tiki's name. He was a hit. Manny the Magnificent sauntered up to Tiki and shook his hand. He said, That was absolutely incredible, Tiki. I would be honoured if you would perform that same routine in our circus show tomorrow night. Tiki didn't know what to say. He was speechless too. All he could muster was a smile and a nod of acceptance. Good, Manny said. We will move your trampoline to the star dressing room so that you don't have to pull it around with you anymore. Tiki watched as a couple of chimpanzees picked up his trampoline and started carrying it backstage. Then, a very glamorous-looking tiger strutted forward. Manny introduced her as Tigress, their costume designer and makeup artist. She would conjure up a bedazzled costume for Tiki to wear in the show. Last but not least, Manny called over a tiny blonde chihuahua wearing a tutu called Cadence. Cadence was the stage manager and would ensure that Tiki was well taken care of and received everything he needed and wanted in the build-up to the show. Manny had to leave then to break the news to the other auditionees that the guest star slot had been filled, so he left Tiki in the capable paws of Cadence. Cadence, the tiny chihuahua, led Tiki backstage and showed him to the star dressing room. The star dressing room had a wall covered in shiny mirrors with big bulbous lights all the way around the edges. There was a comfy red chair pushed up against a dressing table in the middle and a rack for costumes on the left-hand side. On the right, there was a table covered in different drinks and snacks for Tiki to help himself to. Cadence told Tiki to let them know if he wanted anything else. But Tiki shook his head with bewilderment. There was more food and drink here than he could ever possibly manage to devour in a whole week. Never mind one day. He would be fine. Tiki made himself comfortable in the big red chair and gazed at his reflection in the mirror. He had always dreamt of getting this opportunity, but he had always thought it was a pipe dream. He never expected it to come true, but here he was, about to perform for all his friends in the circus. 
He used the telephone in the dressing room to call his friend, Rue the rabbit. He needed to let her know that she would have to make her own way to the circus tomorrow evening, but he didn't tell her why. He said he would meet her there, but he didn't let slip that he wouldn't join her in the audience. Instead, he would be waving at her from the stage. Tiki took a bite of apple on the snack table and settled himself back into the big red chair. He snuggled himself up and closed his eyes. He was exhausted from the audition, and he needed to regather his energy in time for the big show tomorrow night. Showtime came around quickly. Tiki was given a spectacular sequined bodysuit to wear by Tigress, the costume designer and he spun around in front of the mirror, admiring his dazzling reflection with pride. The residents of Sleepy Forest excitedly gathered in the circus tent, waiting for the show to begin. Rue the rabbit arrived in her seat on the front row and ordered herself a box of popcorn to enjoy while she watched but she kept looking around, confused. Where was Tiki? He was supposed to be meeting her here. Rue hoped that he made it in time, otherwise he would miss the show, and she knew how much he loved the circus. Tiki peeped through the big red curtains from backstage and spotted Rue eating popcorn in her seat. He also spotted several of his other good friends in the audience. There were Coco the koala and Peanut the armadillo sitting together. And the little foxes, Arlo and Louie, waiting patiently with their mother by their side. He spied his good friends, Cody and Grizabella Bear, with their oldest daughter, Lana Bear. And he noticed the tiny duo of Fenella the unicorn and Dinky the giraffe peering through tiny sets of binoculars to get a better view. Tiki ducked out of the way, just in time to not be spotted by his friends in the audience. Nobody out there knew who had been successful in their audition to win the guest star slot. So when Tiki Tortoise came out to perform, it would be a surprise for everyone. When it was time to begin, Manny the Magnificent stepped out onto the circus stage and welcomed everyone to the show. He was greeted by rapturous applause and Tiki hoped that everyone would enjoy his act as much as they liked Manny. The show began, and one by one, each of the impressive acts performed. The hula-hooping rhinos kicked off the show, followed by the elephants who blew fire from their trunks. Each act was a hit, and as Tiki's turn grew closer, he prepared himself to perform. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath in. He held his breath, counted three, two, and one, and then released the air from his lungs. He did this a few more times to calm himself down and relax before he went on stage. As the juggling hippos exited the stage, Manny the Magnificent returned to announce the next very special act. The chimpanzees dragged the mini trampoline on stage and set it in the centre of the auditorium. Now, we have a very special act for you. Manny the Magnificent announced to the crowd. We held auditions in Sleepy Forest for the most talented circus artist. And now you get 
to see the winner perform. For one night only, please welcome to the stage Tiki the Trampolining Tortoise. The crowd exploded with applause and Tiki stepped through the curtains and onto the stage. He could see his friends in the audience and they all looked very surprised to see him. Roo the rabbit even had a handful of popcorn frozen in mid-air halfway to her mouth. Tiki took up his starting position and waited for the music. The spotlight fell upon him. The beat kicked in and Tiki sprung into action. He performed the same amazing acrobatic display that he performed for Manny the Magnificent the day before, flipping, tumbling, cartwheeling and split jumping. The residents of Sleepy Forest were flabbergasted. Nobody had known that Tiki the tortoise was such a fabulous acrobat. When Tiki finally finished his performance and completed his staple move of landing on one leg, the crowd erupted into a roar of adoration. Everybody was starstruck by Tiki's surprise performance, and Tiki took a bow with a huge amount of pride in his heart. After the show, Tiki's friends rushed backstage to see him. They couldn't stop professing their excitement at his appearance and congratulating him on such a fantastic performance. Even Manny the Magnificent came to his dressing room to thank him for performing so well in the show. Manny the Ringmaster turned to Tiki and placed an arm on his shell. He whispered, Tiki, how would you like to officially join my circus? We could really use a new act as impressive as yours. I think you would fit right in. You would have the chance to perform all over the world, not just in Sleepy Forest. Tiki gasped. He had never expected to be asked to join the circus, but a part of Tiki really wanted to. He looked at all of his friends, Roo the rabbit, Cody, Grizabella and Lana Bear, Coco and Peanut the armadillo, Fenella, Dinky and Arlo and Louie and their mother. They all grinned and urged Tiki to accept Manny's offer. You're a natural performer, Tiki, they cried. This has always been your dream. Take your chance. Tiki smiled at his supportive friends and turned back to Manny the Magnificent. I'll do it, he replied. All of Tiki's friends cheered and Manny raised a toast in celebration. To Tiki the trampolining tortoise, he declared. To Tiki the trampolining tortoise, they all repeated back with delight. Two days later, after throwing a big going away party, Tiki packed up his suitcase and joined Manny's travelling circus as they rolled out of Sleepy Forest. His friends all waved Tiki off on his new adventure and the 120-year-old tortoise waved back giddily. It would be a while before he saw his friends again, but Tiki was excited for the next chapter of his life, following his dream 
of becoming a circus superstar. <laughs>